Hello and welcome to our video about 7 powerful tips that can help you build your savings in no time. These are intended to assist you in developing the correct mentality for saving money and making it a habit in your everyday life. With these, you will be on your road to meeting your financial objectives faster than you ever imagined. Before we begin, we would like to remind you that if you find this topic beneficial, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Through this action, you will be among the first to learn about our new videos intended in assisting you on your financial journey. We are devoted to providing you with useful information and methods that will help you in reaching your financial objectives. So, tap that like button, subscribe to our channel, and let's get started with these 7 profound psychological tactics that will help you increase your savings quickly and effectively. Starting with the first hack, Use cash instead of cards. When it involves handling your money, it's critical to understand how your spending habits affect your savings. Using cash instead of credit and debit cards has been demonstrated in studies to be an effective approach to cut expenditure and improve savings. The act of physically handing over money can help you be much more conscious of your spending patterns and make it more difficult to overspend. Using cash could also help you keep to a budget and avoid making impulsive purchases. Cash allows you to set aside a predetermined amount of money for your daily needs while avoiding the danger of overpaying on credit. Furthermore, utilizing cash would help you develop a healthier financial life in the long run. You will also be more likely to build effective saving and budgeting habits when you become more conscious of your expenditures. To begin, Take baby steps. Utilize cash for a few minor costs each week, such as coffee in the morning or a quick lunch. As you grow more familiar with the technique, gradually raise the cash that you utilize. Next, make yourself reminders to withdraw cash and carry it with you each time you leave. This can prevent you from using your card and guarantee that you consistently have cash on hand. Having someone to hold you accountable might also be beneficial. Discuss your objectives with a family member or close friend and ask them to check in and support you along the way. Lastly, congratulate yourself on your accomplishments. Each habit takes time and work to create, so be pleased with what you've achieved. Treat yourself to a reasonable reward if you successfully utilized cash for an entire week to motivate you to keep going. Going next to the second hack, which would be to practice delayed gratification. Delaying gratification is an important ability which could help you save money and achieve your financial objectives. It might be difficult to resist the urge to make rash purchases, but mastering patience can have a huge influence on your financial well-being. Waiting a few days or even weeks before purchasing anything is one of the most efficient strategies to delay pleasure. This technique helps you examine if the item is truly necessary or desirable. The initial enthusiasm of a purchase often fades fast, and you may discover that you do not really truly need the item, or that you can locate a more cost-effective option. Setting goals and working towards them is another approach to postpone satisfaction. This could also assist you in being inspired and concentrated on your long-term financial objectives. Resisting the need to buy involves concentration and self-discipline but with experience, it may become a normal routine for you. These are some pointers to help you develop the practice of deferring pleasure. For starters, make deliberate purchases. Before buying it, consider if you truly require or desire the item. Evaluate the value it will add to your life and whether it is in line with your long-term goals. If you're unsure, wait a few days or up to a week before spending money to give yourself some thought. Another approach is to look for alternatives to spending. Instead of purchasing anything new, think about borrowing or renting it, or looking for a free or low-cost substitute. This could assist you in satisfying your craving for immediate fulfillment without breaking the wallet. After that, be kind with yourself. Deferring satisfaction is a difficult habit to perfect, and failures are unavoidable. If you make a mistake, do not beat yourself up over it. Instead, Utilize the opportunity to learn from it and motivate you to continue working towards your goals. The third idea is to visualize your savings. 
Visualizing your savings can work as a strong motivator, making your objectives feel more concrete and attainable. It might also act as a reminder of the reason you are saving and the rewards you will receive as a result. Seeing your savings in visuals might also allow you to organize your purchases. When you have a visual depiction of your savings goal, you can quickly see how far you've come and how far you still have to go. This can assist you in making better informed financial decisions and allocating your resources more efficiently. Suppose you're putting money aside for a down payment on a new vehicle. When you're tempted to buy something on impulse, imagine your savings goal to remind yourself of the wider picture. This will support you in resisting the need to spend any money on a purchase that does not correspond to your financial objectives and top concerns. Visualizing your savings could grow into a habit if you apply a few simple steps. One is to create a process for measuring your progress toward your savings target. It can be as simple as changing your income dashboard or graph each week or month. Second, make your graphic depiction of your savings objective as obvious as possible. Put it somewhere you will see frequently, like a spot on your fridge or near your workplace. This will act as a continual reminder of your savings goal and will help you keep focused on it. Last but not least, make visualizing your savings a regular component of your financial check-in. Give yourself a few seconds every time you examine your budget or monitor your spending patterns to modify your savings chart or graph and audit your improvements toward your target. The fourth hack is to surround yourself with like-minded savers. You will remain motivated and responsible in your attempts to save money by interacting with individuals who have common financial objectives and beliefs. That is when a network of like-minded savers comes in handy. Being a member of a savings community can provide you with the motivation and support you need to remain on track with your objectives. Consider having a community of people cheering you on, offering ideas and methods, and supporting you in overcoming obstacles. It would be like having a financial superhero squad on your side. A savings community might not just give you a great support, it may additionally help you discover new money-saving tactics. You can uncover new methods to save money that you could not have thought of yourself through trading suggestions and gaining knowledge from others. Establishing a practice of surrounding yourself with like-minded savers might be difficult, yet it is worthwhile to try when it involves achieving your financial objectives. Here are some pointers on how to make it a habit. First, identify a savings group that you connect with. It might be a social media site, an online forum, or a local savings society. After you've chosen a community with whom you connect, make it a habit to check on the group, engage in conversations, and share your progress. Second, provide assistance to people within the community. Assisting others in remaining motivated and accountable may be a great incentive for yourself. It can also empower you in learning from the experiences of others and gaining unique insights into money-saving tactics. Lastly, maintain consistency. Surrounding yourself with like-minded savers tends to take time to cultivate, so make a consistent commitment to it. Being a part of a savings community will become second nature and a crucial aspect of your financial journey over time. To use the power of scarcity is hack number five. Why is it though? Because it takes use of our fundamental need for scarce or restricted resources. When we feel something is unusual or difficult to acquire, we place a higher value on it and are more willing to take action to attain it. We may apply the same logic to our spending habits. We may push ourselves to make more savings and spend less by building up a feeling of scarcity around our money. You may, for example, make a budget for your own benefit and limit your spending in particular areas, such as dining out or entertainment, to a certain amount on a monthly basis. This generates a sense of scarcity around your finances, causing you to reconsider purchasing items in those categories. You might also use limited time offers or discounts to generate a sense of urgency surrounding your purchasing. The scarcity effect may also be used for saving intentions. Setting a clear savings goal and considering it a challenge to meet could help you create a sense of scarcity around your cash and push yourself to save more. Making the power of scarcity a habit entails exercising self-control, 
and preparing ahead of time. Set a monthly budget for non-essential purchases. And then, build a list of the products you wish to buy and rank them in order of priority. This will allow you to make better educated judgments about how to spend your money. Implementing a one-in, one-out rule for non-essential purchases is another technique to make using the power of scarcity a habit. This simply implies that if you purchase a new item, you must dispose of one item that you will no longer use and use. This not only saves money by minimizing clutter and wasteful purchases, but also encourages thoughtful consumption and waste reduction. Also, take use of technology by using budgeting applications or tools to track your spending and savings activities. Several applications allow you to create savings goals, manage your spending, and receive reminders when you hit particular milestones. These would help you to keep coordinated, financially responsible, and inspired towards your savings objectives, making the power of scarcity an easier habit to sustain. Our sixth money-saving tip is to learn to say no which encourages you to regulate your purchasing behavior and prevent needless costs. Saying no can be hard, but it is a necessary skill when balancing your finances. Consider the following scenario. You're out shopping with your friends and stumble across a pair of shoes that you really like. You have the funds to purchase things, but you're aware that you do not need it. If you take the shoes, you're wasting cash on an item that will provide you with immediate gratification, yet may not add long-term value to your life. When you say no, you're prioritizing your financial objectives and preserving money for a purchase that will benefit you in the future. Setting limits and being secure in your judgments are also part of learning to say no. You may feel pushed to say yes to invitations or activities which go beyond your budget, but choosing no protects your financial well-being and keeps you from going into debt. Saying no may lead to a more deliberate and satisfying existence, in addition to saving money. Saying no to things that do not really connect with your beliefs and ambitions makes room for things that do. This can lead to more fulfilling experiences and feelings of accomplishment. How do you make it a habit? First and foremost, establish clear limits for yourself. Establish your financial objectives and devise a strategy to attain them. Recognizing and sticking to your limitations will make it simpler to say no when necessary. Second, start practicing no in a confident and positive manner. When denying an invitation or offer, you do not have to be unpleasant or hostile. Instead, be firm, cautious, and considerate of the other person's sentiments. Finally, associate yourself with individuals who share your financial goals. Nurture relationships with others who share your ideals and recognize the significance of saying no. This will help you remain on track and sustain your behaviors. To sum it up, developing the practice of saying no requires time and work, but it is a valuable investment for your financial future. You could also turn the no into a natural and empowering habit. The seventh and final hack is to reward yourself. It's a money-saving idea as it gives incentive and a sense of success, both of which will lead to improved financial habits. As we work hard to attain our financial objectives, it's critical to recognize and honor our accomplishments. We develop a positive connection with excellent financial habits by rewarding ourselves, which motivates us to keep on making responsible financial choices. This may also help reduce overspending since modest planned pleasures along the way make us feel less constrained. Self-care can be done without being costly or excessive. It might be as easy as going out for a coffee or seeing a movie once a month or taking a break from work to rest and unwind. The goal is to select incentives that reflect your beliefs while remaining within your budget. Also, rewarding yourself might benefit your psychological health and well-being. It gives you plenty to look forward to and will help you relax. We have become more inclined to continue making beneficial changes in our life, including our money, when we feel so good about ourselves as well as our efforts. Rewarding oneself is a practice that may bring a lot of happiness and inspiration into one's life. It is a strong tool that could motivate you in reaching your objectives, improving your attitude, and keeping you inspired. But how does one go about making rewarding oneself a habit? Allow me to explain. Consider yourself a plant which needs water to develop. You cannot just water yourself once and expect to bloom for the rest of your life. Similarly, 
you cannot simply praise yourself once and hope to be motivated indefinitely. Just like plants require frequent watering, you must reward yourself on a regular basis to stay inspired and effective. We must now discuss how to make rewarding oneself a habit. Setting attainable goals is the first step. When you establish a target, you have an objective to strive towards, and when you reach that goal, you may reward yourself. The next step is to select a reward that you truly enjoy. Your prize will be something that stimulates and delights you. For example, if you enjoy reading, you may treat yourself to a new book. And lastly, remember to enjoy your victories. After you reach a goal, take the moment to relax and highlight your fulfillment. This will increase your self-esteem and motivate you to succeed. Ultimately, these are your ultimate weapons for increasing your savings and achieving your financial objectives. You may make saving money a daily habit by utilizing cash, practicing delayed gratification, visualizing your savings, surrounding yourself with like-minded savers, using the power of scarcity, learning to say no, and rewarding yourself. Therefore, take control of your finances and allow these proven money-saving mind tricks to do the rest. Begin adopting them into your life today and see how they affect your savings development. And that's a wrap. We hope you found our video helpful and informative. Remember that saving money is about adopting the correct mentality and making it a habit, not merely cutting back on costs. By implementing these 7 easy yet efficient money saving mind hacks in your everyday routine, you can develop a better understanding of your finances and reach your financial objectives faster than you ever imagined. Before we end, we would like to remind you to press the like button and subscribe to our channel for the more useful content such as this one. Make sure to click the notification bell if you want to be among the first to know when we release a new video. We thank you for sticking around and we'll see you in the next one.